To balance this double displacement reaction, iron 3 sulfate plus barium hydroxide, we'll count the atoms up on each side of the equation. And we'll use a little bit of a trick here to make that a lot easier. So we have two iron atoms. And then SO4, we have it here and we have it here. It's the sulfate ion. It's a polyatomic ion that stays together in the chemical reaction. So we can count it as one thing. We have one sulfate times three. So we have three sulfate ions. And that'll make it a lot easier to deal with all these different oxygens here. And this technique works with most double displacement reactions. So we have our three sulfates. We have our one barium OH. That's the hydroxide. We have it here and here. So we have two times the one hydroxide. We have two hydroxides. On the product side, we have one iron, one SO4, the sulfate ion, one barium, and three hydroxides. Let's put a three in front of the barium sulfate here so that we have one sulfate times three. That'll give us three sulfates. Those are balanced. And then one times three, we have three bariums. We can come over here, put a three in front of the barium hydroxide. This will balance the bariums, one times three. That gives us three of those. And then hydroxides, we have two times the one. So we have two hydroxides times the three. That gives us six hydroxide ions. Let's balance the hydroxides by putting a two in front of the FeOH3, and that may balance everything. Let's see how that works. So we have three hydroxides times two. That gives us six. Those are balanced. And then one times the two for the iron. That gives us two. Everything's balanced. So by counting the polyatomic ions is one thing. That makes it a lot easier. You can do it the other way where you count everything up individually. It gives you the same answer. This just saves a lot of time and is less prone to error. This is Dr. B with the balanced equation for Fe2SO43 plus BaOH2. Thanks for watching.